Lawmakers today moved forward a measure they say will help small farms stay in business by diversifying. Channel 3's Kevin Geis takes us to Richmond to meet one farm that's finding success. Far farms in Richmond used to be a dairy until they sold their herd in 2018. I think our main goal is that we love agriculture, we love farming, we want to be here. So the Fars decided to take on a new agricultural venture diversifying their products into beef, pork and eggs, growing crops, adding a farm stand that sells various products and even growing sunflower patches for seasonal guests. So being able to diversify has given us the opportunity to continue being on the farm using the space. The process comes with a financial investment, purchasing new equipment for new ventures and bringing on new animals. Support, Aaron Farr says, came from other farmers, the state's ag agency, and good old-fashioned learning. We've done a ton of research and looked into the greater agriculture field. Thank you, the internet. Tuesday, lawmakers took one step forward in ensuring farms like Far Farm have an easier time switching it up. The vote tally is 10 zero one in favor. The House Agriculture, Food Systems and Forestry Committee forwarded a bill to create a farm diversification and transition program within the state ag agency. It now heads to the House Appropriations Committee, then the House floor. As, as small farms are pushed out of dairy, mostly, it, it, it's to help them to transition to some other form. The program would allocate $500,000 annually for grants up to $15,000 for small farms to access to transition away from one form of agriculture into another or take on a new journey to support their bottom line. And, but we can't survive on just milk. So we have the opportunity to you know, grow, grow other commodities. Back in Richmond, Farr says diversifying has been key for them to continue farming. They hope the state will consider more educational opportunities, but they're glad to hear there's possible investment in Vermont's next generation of farmers. I think there's so many niche markets out there that there's a place for every farm. There's so many people to feed. There's a place for every farm. Reporting in Richmond, Kevin Geis, Channel 3 News.